fragrance family, I'm David and I'm a fragrance bro. Welcome to another episode of 5 Fragrances You Should Buy. I smell fragrances all the time and I can't review them all, so here's a list of 5 fragrances that I love that I can't review just yet, but I think they're worth your time and your attention. Now the first on the list is Dior Homme Cologne 2013. Now Dior Homme Cologne was first released uh, earlier than 2013 and had a different version of that. It was kind of a citrusy, lighter version of Dior Homme. And then they rebranded it in 2013 to be All Citrus. And it is a fantastic citrus scent. One of my favorites. Uh, some people get various performance issues with this, but I actually haven't found any performance issues. It's not an eau de cologne, as the name kind of connotates. It is an eau de toilette, uh, but I get in the average range, and I'm fine with that. It's a beautiful, creamy, lemon, citrusy scent that is great for the spring, especially summer and the warmer months, and it is definitely worth a buy. Next on my list is Sauvage by Dior. Now, I did a review of this. You may have seen it. I'll have a link down below to that. And Sauvage has been really polarizing lately because a lot of people think it is very generic. They don't think it's very unique or innovative, and Dior is known for innovative scents. And I do agree with a lot of what they're saying. I think it's not the most innovative scent. It's not uh, going to blow you away. But I will say this, it's a good scent, and I think you need to smell it. Uh, there is an absolute gorgeous, gorgeous opening to this fragrance. It kind of reminds me somewhat of Aventus, and it has a lot of bergamot in it, uh, very citrusy, it's a musky scent. The dry down is not as good, but it's still a good scent. I think generally people really like this, and I'm one of those people. I do actually like it. Next on the list is Musk Imperial by Atelier Cologne. I've mentioned Atelier Cologne a lot on these episodes uh, for a good reason. I really like them and they do some really good scents. Musk is one of those notes that I actually really enjoy and they did this really well. Um, it does kind of bear similarity to Aventus a little bit. <laughs> it's a very musky, citrusy scent that has some oomph to it and some guts and masculinity to it. It's one of their newer scents. It's something that I personally want to buy, so I think this is definitely worth your time. Next is Blackberry and Bay by Joe Malone. I haven't mentioned any Joe Malone fragrances on this channel yet, uh, but I really love a lot of their scents so far. Blackberry and Bay immediately got my attention because I love Blackberry, and I'm very familiar with both Blackberry and Bay Leaf. Blackberry Jam, Blackberry Cobbler, Blackberry Pie, get out of here. It's amazing. Love it. Love to pick wild blackberries and, and eat them. We have them growing around our house. They're just It's just so good. This is a scent that actually smells a lot like blackberry and bay. It's, it's, it's true to the name here. It's a tart, juicy, fruity blackberry tamed by the bay leaf note. Bay leaf is a very herbal, almost camphorous type of leaf. One of the things that I really recognize this in is it's used in one of the main ingredients in gumbo. And... <laughs> Being on the Gulf Coast, we know our gumbo. <laughs> so I immediately recognized the bay leaf. It actually works really well in this scent. It's a gorgeous scent, and you've got to go out and try it. And last but not least is Equus by Yi Yi Parfums. Now this is one that I have an unboxing for, and I have a review forthcoming. I'll have uh, the unboxing video down below if you want to watch that. Beautiful presentation. And this is a very good scent. Uh, I'm going to have a review of this with Jer coming soon, so be on the lookout for that. As the name suggests, it's equestrian, and it is a very leathery, smoky, uh, herbal scent. It's very masculine. It is very nice. It kind of bears some similarities to me to the smokiness in A City on Fire by Imaginary Authors. It goes in slightly different direction, but there's that thickness and denseness uh, from that in here, and I actually really like it. It hasn't got much play on YouTube, but I definitely think it's worth checking out, so go check it out if you can. So that's all I have. Thanks for watching this episode of 5 Fragrances You, you Should Buy. Let me know if you tried these and what you think. I'll see you next time with another episode. I'm David.